Hey guys, Maybe you're 20 back again, and today we're going to look at Dandara for the Nintendo Switch. Now, when you first start this game up, you'll see you got three different files to choose from, and I really like that because if you got a bunch of different users on your Nintendo Switch, every single user gets the chance to have three different save files, which is really cool. So we're going to go ahead and start up a new game because I can only show like 10 or 15 minutes of this game because this game does not get released to sometime next week. So I can only show a little bit because there are embargo dates in place. So right now we got a loading screen here and right here is the intro. It says the salt was once in a beautiful piece. So this story, as you'll learn, it progresses as you go. And you basically play as this chick that can like bounce from wall to wall. She kind of like can't move around. It's really weird. You'll see the gameplay mechanic here in a second. It's kind of hard to explain. It reminds me a lot of Metroid. It's You can tell this game has been inspired by Metroid a lot. And that's a good thing because we all know Metroid is fun. But this is definitely different than Metroid. It's got a lot of differences and it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start this game up. Let's try to skip this intro. You cannot skip it, which is okay because you really want to learn about it anyways. So right here is a tutorial. So you basically, like I said, you're just leaping. You're pushing the A button and using the control stick to navigate. And that's pretty much how this game works. So you just keep going from platform to platform. And you'll know as you get like, you know, once you get the controls down, which are pretty simple, you can actually do this a lot quicker. You'll be like zooming through levels and it makes for some pretty cool gameplay. You can actually shoot too, which is really cool. So as you can tell right away, it's already got that Metroid look and sort of feel to it, which is pretty cool. And so it's kind of like, it's almost like puzzle platforming in a way because you can only go to certain platforms because to get to certain areas, sometimes you got to get different upgrades later on to access different areas. It's really, you know, again, it has that Metroid feel to it. That's the same way Metroid is. All right, let's go ahead and get through this. Oh, there's spikes. You gotta be careful. There are spikes. There's enemies that you'll, you know, this right now we're in the tutorial section, so it is pretty easy. But you'll see as we progress. And you see, we just came across a campfire. Now, when you get here, you can actually go ahead and, you know, raise the flag. And a campfire will actually, um, this is like a checkpoint, basically. And then you can come here and see, like, everything that you get. Everything's locked right now. You'll get different upgrades and stuff as you go along. But um, you can actually upgrade things with salt. Like right now we need like 420 salt it looks like to upgrade this and we have zero right now and uh, um, so yeah let's go ahead and get out of this. And I know it looks really easy right now because there's no enemies but let me <laughs> let me assure you um, this is like the tutorial once you get you know farther in the game the game does get pretty challenging and it's pretty unique I've never played a game like this before honestly. We're just going to navigate through. There are uh, different um, treasure chests and stuff you can get through. I just want to get to some enemies so you guys can see that real quick. Right here is our first one. Just hold in the X button and you can fire your weapon. Let's go up here. And I, what's really cool about this game, there's a lot of adventuring because you ne you don't really know where to go. Okay, so like you're kind of just going all over the place. Wait for this guy to come after me. There you go. And then you got these little like ghost figures, which I'll be honest. Um... <laughs> I don't really know what that's all about just yet. Like I said, I've played maybe about an hour of this game um, so far, so I've gotten you know a little bit into it, but nowhere near enough to do a review. So I, that's why I wanted to do a first impressions type of video, kind of like a preview, because um, if you do a review, you kind of have to wait um, almost until the game comes out to do a full review. So I figured, you know, why not get you guys some gameplay right away so you guys can see if you like it or not. Let's go ahead and die on purpose here. Okay, let him kill me. So you guys can see, like, now we're going to fall. It says, falling into oblivion, game over, returning to camp. So you'll see, boom, we're at the campsite now. And I did that on purpose, but as you get later in the game, I just wanted to show this off because I don't know when that 10 or 15 minute mark is going to come up. You'll see, like, how crazy, like, hard the game gets. And then that's kind of my only complaint because sometimes the checkpoints, in my personal opinion, are kind of spaced a little far apart. Which makes it kind of hard, honestly, which is a good thing, honestly. So you want a game to be challenging, at least I do. And right here is our first, like, kind of real enemy. And I thought I hit him, but maybe not. So yeah, this is, this is, uh, I don't know, leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. Is this a game that you think you'd be interested in? I really do like it. Um, I'm really uh, happy uh, the developer decided to send me a, a, a game key. So we can actually check this out together. The game gets a lot faster, like 
crazy lightning reflexes. Really, really cool game. Oh, he okay, this guy takes two hits. I forgot about that. So, I mean, look how hard the game is, honestly. Like, I'm actually already down to one heart. So, yeah, so, like, it, it really... <laughs> there's a treasure chest up here, so let's go get that. Open up this treasure chest. See what we got. And we got a map. So now you have a map. So, boom. Now you got a map. So now you know all the areas that you've been in. What areas you haven't been in. And that's going to come in handy. It's going to be crucial. You're going to need to use that so you actually know where you're going. And it says there is a small painting on the floor. Um unlit it is difficult to make out its shapes so obviously we need to find a way past this so like i said there's different things you need to do to unlock different parts um, of the levels so matter of fact hold on, let's go back in here there's another door i didn't go into and that's that's the thing about this game there's so many different rooms there's sometimes where i i wonder like where do i go next i feel like i'm kind of lost which is why you really do need that map all right let's go up here All right, so right now you're like, I'm just kind of exploring right now. Like I really have no rhyme or reason what I'm doing. That's kind of how I play my games. I'll be the first one to admit, I don't like using maps. I kind of just play because I, I end up wanting to see where, you know, every room anyways. I'm not much of a speed runner. Um, so like I just check every single room and that's how I've played every single game. I've always played it that way. Oh man, I just got hit again. So look, that's how hard the game is. That like it's it's crazy. Like <laughs> to be fair, I'm not very good. I'm not going to lie. To be fair, I'm not I'm not very good. Like I said, I've only got an hour into this game. I just want to get the video out so you guys have enough time to see it before it gets released. But it's brutal. Game the game can be, be brutal, which is which is good. I like hard games. Interesting enough, some of those take two hits to kill, and, and some are one-hit kills. I don't know if maybe if it's a, a certain spot that you hit him on, they get weaker spots or what, but I, I really don't know. Okay, so we know we can't go up there because we have to activate those paintings somehow. I guess we'll just ignore that guy for now. go this way okay we can't go that way that's another painting right yep this is a small painting so we have to actually make those light up so as as you, you'll see later I've actually I've already gotten past this part um you'll actually get like uh, to a section of the game where you can actually unlock all those paintings and then they'll start moving and then like the, the platforms move and you can access different areas of the world so Careful. I don't want to die here like last time. You only get three hits. You only get three hits. It really does have that old school difficulty feel to it, which I really like. All right, there is a room up here. But there is a chest. We got to go back. There's a chest. I always, I always, uh, almost miss a chest. And like, they're, they're hidden everywhere. So you really do want to get those because that's how you get a lot of upgrades and stuff like that. So there's a chest over here, and as you break these boxes, that's how you get some of the, the salt, too. And here we go. What do we got this time? Essence of salt. Use it close to your heart to regain your strength. Okay, so now I, th I think um, by pressing B, see, I'm missing a heart, so I'm going to push B. And as you can see, we just got one of our hearts back, so... That's uh, one of the upgrades. And you can actually upgrade that later in the game as well. To where instead of it giving you one heart, I think it gives you multiple hearts. We have another one of these little ghostly images. Gotta avoid not getting hit. There we go. We did that not too horribly. 
You'll be, you'll have to, you'll notice, you'll have to actually just go back and forth like that at wall to avoid enemies and stuff like that. So right here is where we'll actually be able to access these paintings. You talk to this dude right here. He says, ah, pretty, so pretty. You must be Dandara. You saw the horrible Eldian army outside, no? That's hardly a warm welcome. I'm so sorry you had to see the creation side like this. We've been hiding in our homes, waiting for the worst until... We all felt you coming, but I couldn't be certain I had to see you. Now you're here. All right, let's go ahead and get through this. So there, she lit up all the paintings for me. So now you can actually go and, like, they'll move certain objects. Certain walls will, you know, go up and down. So now we can actually access different areas of the game. And like you said earlier, in the earlier uh, stage of this, there was other... Uh, paintings that needed to lit up and now we can access those as well you'll you'll come across different gameplay mechanics like that as you progress through the game so now these are lit up and now these let's break these boxes get some salt it's very important I'm not sure why um, salt is considered like currency and stuff like that I don't really know too much of Dandara and the history of Dandara uh, feel free to look it up Definitely an interesting story, to say the least. Oh, we got hit. I, I'll, I, I'll be honest, it is a little weird not being able to walk around. The fact that you have to stick to walls to navigate is a little a little odd. It really is, but it really does add a little charm to the game. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's a small music box on the floor, mostly silent. A, a small hum tries to reach your ears. Okay, so later on you will, uh, you know, figure out what that is all about. Let's try to sneak up behind these guys, kill these guys. Come on! <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm so horrible at the game, I'll be honest. I had, like, since I've only played it for about an hour, I'm really rusty. It, it does take some time to get used to like playing a game like this to where you can't really walk around. You're just kind of like, you know, to avoid attacks, you're just, you know, sticking from wall to wall. It's, it's definitely unique. I've never played a game quite like this before in my entire life. It's really, really cool though. It's really cool. And as you can see, you get in rooms like this and you can't really do anything. Like as you can see, there's like a wall in your way right here and you can't blast through it yet. So, you know, later you'll get you know, it's, it's just like Metroid, like, you'll end up coming across rooms to where, like, you can't do anything, you just gotta come back to it later where you get certain upgrades, and then you can finally, you know, you know, progress. So it's kind of like that, it's kind of like a maze, that's why you do have your map, you can see where you've been, where you haven't been. But guys, I'm gonna have to end the video here, I'm getting close to that time limit. I just wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of Dendara and what the game's all about. This game does come out next week on the eShop, so if you want to download that, be sure to do that. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. And leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this game. That's pretty much all for right now, guys, and there will be more to come shortly. Thanks again.